All right guys, so it's the middle of September. I'm back out here hunting for some monster bucks again. Now I know there's a nice 10 point that lives right in this area. So this evening, I'm gonna try to ambush him right when he gets out of his bed. Now I'm in a perfect spot. I've got a lake right over here that kind of is gonna funnel him. And uh, it goes up a steep hill on this side. So hopefully he's gonna funnel right through this area and I'm gonna get a shot. Stick with me, let's go hunting. I'm so pumped right now. That was my number one hit list buck. The tall, big old 10 pointer. He did exactly what I wanted him to do. It was a perfect 17 yard shot broadside and I smoked him. Man, I can't wait. We're gonna give it some time, make sure he's down and then we're gonna go find him. I am so pumped right now. Well guys, as you can see, I found him. Beautiful 10 point. I'm so thankful to have been able to harvest this beautiful 10 point white tail. Such a joy to be able to uh, to spend time in God's creation hunting these things. The hunt just worked out perfectly. I made a great shot on him. I am so excited to finally get my hands on this big, beautiful 10 point. All right, all right, you guys get the idea. This is just a little fun we're having. Let me come around here and show you what I actually wanted to show you today. All right, as I'm sure you figured out by now, what I was really trying to show you in this video is this moving 3D target system that I have set up. Now, all that it is, is it's an old garage door opener mounted into these trees with the 3D target hung from uh, the garage door opener. Now you may ask, how did you hang it? Well, really all it is is some eye bolts or eye screws that are screwed down into the foam. They hold really well. And some uh, paracord or something similar to paracord that's uh, attaching it to the garage door opener. It's working really well. We have a long cord, just like you might in, a, in a, your garage that would go to the button. The button's down here. In this case, we have it set up about 17, 18 yards, something in that neighborhood. And the button, you push the button and the deer starts moving. When it gets to the far end, you push it again and it will return back to its starting point. Now I have to point out to you that this is not a running deer shot. This is not moving very fast as I'm sure you saw in the video. But the reality is I'm never gonna take a running deer shot in the real world hunting situation. And so this actually has been really great practice for me of a realistic shot I might take, just a deer slowly walking and practicing exactly how do I aim, where do I hold, when do I release, and it's been great. And actually it surprised me that it's a little bit more challenging than I thought, uh, just trying to figure out the timing of when to take that shot. So I think it's been a great opportunity for me to learn and increase my skills for something that I might use in a real world hunting situation. If you've got an old garage door opener lying around like this, give it a shot yourself. You might find that you really enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below and stay tuned because even though right now when I'm posting this video is not yet actually hunting season, hunting season is right around the corner and I hope to be posting some great hunting videos for you. So until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.